Hello again. We've just finished the butterflies. Now we're going to jump into dragonflies. You're going to need the same equipment. So you're going to need your sewing pins, your entomology pins. You're still going to need those strips of paper. Um, but today we're, we're just going to add in this uh, pinning block. So we're going to be able to do that with our, our dragonfly. Um, we'll also need to keep this the grooves. So this is a well-loved board, as you can tell, um, because we're going to just keep using these, these grooves over and over. For your dragonflies, um, when you go to pin, it's going to be kind of straight through the center of the wing. So once I get this through, I'll turn it around so you can see it. Let me see if we're level this way. It's not too bad. Ooh, but as you look at it, it's way off kilter. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one back out. And try again. So I'm going to start this way again. We're still good this way. Uh, it's better this way. Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to do one more time because I went to the extreme, the other extreme. And I'm going to call that one good as we're looking at it. Um, in order to use the pinning block on this one, I'm going to put it down because my fingers aren't working with me. Um, just like the other insects, we're going to take it upside down and let um, the pinning push the pin down so we get that quarter of an inch at the top of our, our insect. Um, coming into our groove, he's going to rotate quite a bit on me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set him right down in. Just like the butterflies, we want the, the wings to lay flat um, against. We don't want to push it too far that we um, they're coming out of it, but not far enough. Let me go a little bit further forward, but not far enough that um, we're having to push them down onto the styrofoam. So let's see. Let me get a little bit here. There we go. He still rotated a little bit on me. So instead of putting um, the block at the abdomen, because we can see where this abdomen has a lot of movement, I'm just going to go ahead and move from the front here. Get him to go a little bit straighter in my groove. There we go. With dragonflies, um, same 90 degree rule applies, except we want it to be this top edge of the bottom wing. Um, so the top wing is going to be up a little bit higher. I'm going to go ahead and start on the left side. Um, we can see the vein pattern on dragonflies a lot easier than we do butterflies. Um, and they're thicker as we get closer to the body. Um, so I'm just going to very gently pull up. Um, and you can go ahead and stick the pin through on this one because it's clear. Um, then the bottom wing, I'm going to grab a thicker pin. Um, we can see all this vein structure here. Um, so we're just going to grab underneath this vein and we're going to grab to that 90 degree angle. Um, and I'm running into the board there. If, you're get, if your wing's getting stuck, you can always put a, a piece of paper underneath it so it's not getting on the styrofoam here. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and leave those on that side for right now. We're going to do the other side and then we'll put the, the paper down. Just because their wings aren't as frail as butterflies. So here again, we're going to find this large wing. We're just going to pull that up just a little bit. Um, he's starting to straight out on me. Um, and let's do the bottom. Oops. I'm going to stay underneath those wings. So if I were to start stop here, we can see that we're still just shy of that 90 degree angle. So both of these need to go up just a smidge more. So I'm going to come back out and I'm going to pull it up even further. That's going to be better on that side. You can go ahead and use your fingers on these because um, we've got that we don't have the scales like our Lepidopterus. That's better for the 90 degrees. So I'm going to come up, pull out on the top wing and just pull them up just a little bit higher. Same thing applies as with the butterflies. We really want to make sure that as we're looking both sides that we've got the same angle in here. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just put the, the paper down just like I did for the butterflies. Always come in at this angle so that as I'm pulling uh, it gives that tight pull. I'll show an example of um, what happens if we do just a regular. So if I were to put my pin like this and go ahead and pull, you can see how you're going to lose that that grip. So that's why I always say come in at an angle so that when I pull, you're not have, losing the paper. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do the wax paper on this side. Some people like the wax paper better because it helps them to see what the insect is and helps them to identify, whereas when you're pinning with um, paper, you kind of have to wait till it dries. Last thing when it comes to dragonflies is we need to address the abdomen. Um, sometimes as the abdomen dries, it starts to droop and it starts to fall down. Um, this one's kind of coming up for me, so I'm going to do a reverse cradle. I'm going to come from the top and I'm going to just cradle it underneath so that I keep it from pop. Oops, I keep it from popping up. And then on the very tip, to keep this where it's starting to droop down, I'm going to come underneath and I'm going to do a cradle here to see if I can't get it to straighten out a little bit for me. And so as we're looking at the insect, I've kept it from popping up in the center and then from drooping at the very tip. So this is all you need to know when it comes to dragonflies. Make sure there's that 90 degree angle and then we've got the top wings just on top. One other quick thing, I'm gonna move this out of the way real quickly. And this is definitely not something that you have to do for your first year, first couple years, but it's something that you might wanna start looking into um, the older and more advanced you get. Um, one of the things with dragonflies in order to help identify them is some of them have color on this under wing. Um, so we can, um, so we can um, for, the, for the grasshopper, um, so we have the opportunity to pull out a side wing. Um, we, can, we always make, want to make sure, just like with the pinpoints, that we are always pulling the same direction or pointing the same direction. Um, and so we can have this um, pin block. I made this one out of a really thin piece of styrofoam and a thicker piece of styrofoam. You're going to still pin it like a regular grasshopper, but you're going to use the same concept to pull the wings out. You can see on this one that we didn't put anything on the tips of the wings in terms of paper and how they kind of curled up. Um, so make sure as you're putting the paper on, you're covering the tips of the, the insects if they're starting to curl on you. If you don't have two um, pieces of styrofoam, you can take and just make really big grooves out of like a pink styrofoam like we did for the butterflies. Um, so we took the same styrofoam and we just made it a lot thicker so we could still pin the legs out on this side and pin the wings out on this side. Um, so options to think about down the road as you're getting more advanced into the project. Um, by all means, if you make a mistake and that's your only insect, still please put it in your collection. Um, just know that next year you're going to find a better specimen and do a better job pinning. Thank you.